Hey guys, my name is TK from Red Lotus Films and we are a wedding cinematography company based in Toronto. I've shot hundreds of weddings all across the world and people always message us asking us how we film our weddings. And I'm gonna give you my top three tips. My first tip is the right lighting. I always like to go to the location and see what light sources we have available to us. I always try to find natural light, but we're not always blessed with that. So I bring in my own lights and set it up in a way where I can tell the story better. Not every wedding is the same, so I like to set up my lights differently every single time just so I can tell a more unique story. My next tip is getting the right shots. Weddings can get repetitive. The same thing happens over and over again, and if you want to make movies just like I do, I always like to go in with a shot list or a storyboard. The way I create shot list is I send out a questionnaire to figure out who the couple are. Every movie is going to be different because every couple is different, right? So I figure out who they are, who, uh, who they're closest with, who they are as a couple, and then I create a shot list according to that. In my shot list, I would include things like the type of gimbal movement, a wide, a close, a mid, basically anything that will help me on the day of when I'm filming. This also helps because a lot of times I'm at the bride's house, so my team at the groom's house will understand what I need and want for them to capture for the edit. My last tip is the right lenses. For people who know me, I'm a Sony guy. I primarily use the Sony a7S 3 and the FX3, but it all comes down to the right glass. Prime lenses are great because they give you great sharpness and shallow depth of field, but I prefer zoom lenses. Zoom lenses like the Sony 24-70, it gives me the flexibility of capturing the wides, mids, tights, without getting too intrusive with the couple and their moments. When shooting my coverage shots, I shoot with wide, mid, and close. And so the specialty lenses like the Sony 16-35 really help with that. The power zoom function allows me to zoom into the couple without it looking too rough or janky. It doesn't have to be these lenses, but whatever you're capturing, make sure you have the right lenses to tell your story. So there you have it. Those are my top three tips on how I film my weddings. If you have any other questions, you can always reach out to me at Red Lotus Films. Again, my name is TK, and thank you for watching.